hey Skyler here and in this video I'm gonna essentially answer a question I get asked a lot uh, how many of that coin do I need to buy to become a millionaire um, and I'm gonna essentially show you how to do that math I'm gonna share with you um, there's many different projects out there that are worth many different values and I'm gonna share with you hey if we took that project right there and it just got to be as big as Bitcoin is just Bitcoin is currently at its current state I'm gonna share with you um, uh, how much money you would make, because a lot of people I think um, have a, a larger expectation of of what a coin needs to do in order to make movement, um, but uh, it doesn't need to do much to make huge massive movement. So, and and I'm even gonna use a, a really good example here uh, on on a coin that's uh, not far from the top top ten. So, um, let me get my screen down here real quick. Um, and uh, let me use Chainlink as an example. So in case you don't know, the number one coin is number one because of the market cap. So the bigger the market cap um, is, is, is what the ranking is. So you get to these coins that are way down in the bottom 100, right? They have a market cap of 34 million, right? You get to these coins that are in the 500s, right? They have like a 10 million market cap or something. Um, so, uh, um, so, the name of the game is is the market caps. So um, Chainlink has, has been hot, and a lot of people are like, "Oh, what if Chainlink became the next Bitcoin?" And you know, Chainlink isn't going to become the next Bitcoin because it doesn't do that. It's a completely different, you know, um, completely different program, right? Um, so, um, uh, but I'm going to use Chainlink as an example because uh, a lot of other tokens have a lot more opportunity than Chainlink does. So. Uh, you'll kind of see how much Chainlink can explode in price if it gets anywhere near uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin. So, all we're going to do is take the, the market caps, right? So, the market cap of Bitcoin currently is $130 billion. We're going to take that, and we're going to divide it by the market cap of uh, Chainlink. So, divide that by the market cap of Chainlink, and we're at 101. So, Chainlink would have to would go up to 101x, um, to get to the current market cap of Bitcoin. So essentially you would take the price, which is $3.65, and you times it by 101. Um, so times by $3.65, and that equals to be $371.68. So if Chainlink reached to be as big as Bitcoin is right now, which is only $130 billion, um, then the price of Chainlink would be $371. Now, we take that one more step and we say, okay, well, how much, how many Chainlink would I need to become a millionaire if I believe that Chainlink is gonna be as big as Bitcoin one day? Okay, so 371, right? That's what we, um, that's the, what we end up having, 371. If I'm gonna take that um, million dollars, I'm gonna divide that by 371. That equals 2,695 tokens. So, if you believe that Chainlink will be as big as Bitcoin is currently one day, and I mean, I think Bitcoin's gonna be in the multi-trillion dollar market cap um, one day, um, I, I have no doubt about that. So, I think easily it's gonna 10, 20, 30X from here. Um, if not get up to where gold's at in 50, 60, 70 X, right? Um, but, uh, or more, right? Um, but, um, okay, so if I take 2,695, I'm gonna times that by uh, $3.65, then you would need to buy $9,838 worth of chain link currently, um, and, and then if, Chainlink got to be as big as Bitcoin, you would make a million bucks. So hopefully that all made sense. Um, if you um, have any uh, any other questions or any other things you really want me to show you real quick on a video, just write down in the comments down below. Um, but before I end up going, also um, just to know the car the market cap of gold is eight point eight trillion dollars. So uh, that is about a uh, 70x from here. So um, just know that Bitcoin even can potentially, and if this, if 7,000 goes 70x, 
Um, 7, 0, 9, 4 times 70. We're looking at almost a half a million dollar coin, right? So you take that, um, so if chain link reaches to be 130 billion, you would need 10,000. But if you think chain link can reach 260 billion, then you would need 5,000. So, um, so that's kind of how you end up doing that math. Hey, so I'm gonna cut the video short right here. I just wanted to share that with you and you can do that profit margin kind of uh, any way you'd like. Uh, so you can end up finding a project. If you think a project can at least get into the top 50 of crypto, you can grab your project that's ranked, you know, uh, 2000 with a, you know, 68,000 market cap and see how many, how much profit you can get if it got to the top 100 or the top 50. Um, and you can kind of mess around that way. But uh, you can kind of uh, potentially kind of see how much money you would need to invest into a project um, and, and kind of see the potential gains that you could have for a project doing it that way. Um, but that's it. If you guys have any questions, you can write down in the comments down below. I super appreciate anybody who's watched this long. Uh, if you have, please leave a like on the, on the video and subscribe if you can. Notify, notify on your bell if you're new to the, this space. Um, all the money I make goes straight to charity, so it you know, really does help a lot, out a lot. But, uh, but yeah, that's it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Super appreciate it. Take care. See you later. Bye.